sorry about the dog bark. Well, this is my oh, aunt's dog. I'm watching him. And there's another one too, but he was the one barking. And they're both just right here. <laughs> <laughs> they just really wanted to get on camera. Yeah, basically. But yeah. <laughs> I'm Emily Eamon here for VolleyballMag.com with another edition of Big Ten Thursdays. I'm with producer now sophomore middle blocker Taylor Trammell. Taylor, thank you so much for joining me. Thanks. <laughs> Your team was, I mean, so much fun to watch this last season, especially in that NCAA tournament. You guys made it to the Elite Eight for the first time since 2013. I know it was your first tournament as a freshman, but what was your favorite part of that historic run? Honestly, I thought the whole tournament, I like, it was just kind of jaw dropping, especially in that Elite Eight game, looking up at the Jumbo screen and you're just sitting there and it was so like so real. And it's something that every volleyball girl like dreams about. So I was really like honored and it was just like a great feeling. I mean, you did really well. You ended up <laughs> leading the Big Ten and were fourth in the NCAA in blocks per set, outstanding for anyone, but let alone a freshman. For you, what was the biggest adjustment, you know, coming from high school to college, and how did you overcome that to do as well as you did? Um, honestly, it was a lot of work in the summer, I would say. As soon as I got there, they were really, like, whipping me in shape, um, and I knew that would happen, um, but, but they made it fun along the whole way. The girls were welcoming, and you just, like, I don't know, you just enjoy the ride. I didn't want to stress about it. I was just, like, doing what I was told, just trying to fit in, kind of. But I really enjoyed the whole thing. Do you think having that extra time in the fall really helped you kind of develop? Definitely. The fall was where I feel like not only to myself, but to my teammates and coaches, I was able to, like, prove myself to them, just showing them that, you know, you know, this is a place where I belong and I can, like, be an addition and add stuff that they didn't have already. Um, the fall, it was hard. It's like, you know, you're starting school, too, with the volleyball. So it was a little hard. but. I definitely thought that helped. I was listening to one of your and JL Johnson's coffee talks, and you guys were talking <laughs> about Coach Dave Shondell's coaching style. Sometimes he's a little more laid back. Sometimes he's screaming mm -hmm. in your face on the sidelines. It seems like you really like his coaching style, though. Why do you think yeah. you're able to thrive with a coach like Dave? Honestly, Dave, he reminds me of my old club coach a little bit. Just, like, he liked to yell a little bit. Um, but Dave, I mean – his personality, you can't hate him, and everything he's saying is really true, and you know, you know when you messed up, and he's just basically telling you, hey, you messed up too, um, but Dave, like, his personality is just something that I feel like a lot of uh, players can grasp onto and understand that he just wants you to get better, and he'll do it in any type of way, and that's just me, but I know other girls, he treats them differently too, it's just like, he knows how to coach each girl the way they know how to be. Yeah, it seems like the people that he knows he can really dig into, he does. And then the other ones, mm -hmm. maybe not so much, but a lot of tough love there. You can tell he cares about you guys so much and isn't afraid to kind of show that and, you know, be be aggressive about it. But I, I love that, you know, you're enjoying Dave Shondell. He's just an absolute character. I love watching him coach. Um, mm -hmm. All right, to finish up here, what is your favorite place to eat around campus in West Lafayette? Favorite place has to be Westside Diner. Um, fun fact, the first time I went, I didn't like it at all. I got some nasty pancakes, but then the second time I went, I got this like omelet and it was just like so good. And that's my hands down. It's the best like breakfast food you can get. Nice little breakfast spot. All right. I'll have to check it out next time I'm in town. Taylor, thank you so much for joining me and good luck with training this season, starting back up again soon and, and into the fall. I'm excited to watch you guys. Okay. Thank you.